1980. Child number nine. Whoa. I'm one. This is the backdrop to my childhood. Scrub, ruse. I'm nine. Behind me on the wall are eight identical photo frames. One for each of us when we were babies. The twins do share one. And mine is the only one in colour. First Holy Communion. Behind me is my brother Stephen. He was my sponsor and his ex-wife Liz. Stephen's the last born boy. We don't really talk to him much these days. Ah, my 20s. There, this is how I spent my 20s. We had a small wedding held under a big tree in the backyard of our rental property. Now, some of you may be wondering, why am I telling this story? And really, I'm telling it to you, Steve, as you enter into a life with Emma, <laughs> so that you have some idea about what spirit you've chosen to marry. <laughs> That morning, like every morning, I bring in the milk that I've expressed overnight. There's never very much, but I'm always very proud. And I come in with my milk pail and I go into the milk room and I put it down on the bench and I lean over to get a sticker to put on it. And as I lean over, I knock the damn thing onto the floor and it smashes everywhere. And I'm... Fuck! <sighs> Nurse comes running in. Oh, honey, oh, you let it out. Spilt breast milk? It's the one milk worth crying over. <laughs> and I said to him, babe, it's Barmra. It's not what you think. It's not home and away. There's no beach in Barmra, babe. <laughs> Bobby, we've been driving for two hours and I haven't seen anything. <laughs> I know, babe, but we've still got another hour to go. <laughs> but what's out there, Bobby? <laughs> nothing, Fleming. There's nothing out there. But you can travel from one side of Denmark to the other in just over three hours, Bobby. Yeah, well, this isn't Denmark, mate. You know we belong together. It wasn't a smell of fish because it was so cold in Barmra, it was like they were in a fridge. Their throats weren't slit open, they were whole. It's eerie watching fish die in the water. Their breathing slows, then they flip in slow motion, rise to the surface and then once dead, they wash up onto the shore, eyes open, drowned in air. They finished that carton of beer. <laughs> Twelve beers in two hours each in full sun. <laughs> it's bloody burnt, says Mum, as they parade the spit roast around the house. Oh no, no beds, not burnt. That lamb, that is succulent. You just look at that as they rip pieces of meat off with their hands and shove it into their mouths. Juices dripping down their chin. Mum ninjas the spit roast out of their hands and starts carving it up with the electric cutter. I knew I should have never let them do the bloody meat. And the boys, they are too drunk to notice that they are deep in the sin bin. They start offering plates of carved meat around, proclaiming, it tastes, it tastes so much better if you eat it with your hands. Emma! 
Emma, you're going to eat it with your hands. 